Hi, this is Terry with Yar Coach. Welcome to T minus 29. This is our first day hitting the 20s. So we're in 50 days of decluttering, and I want to remind you today why we're doing this. We're not necessarily doing it to get rid of stuff because stuff is not the issue. The issue is why we hang on to stuff which no longer serves us, okay? So we're using these opportunities um, that every day at home brings us during this time to kind of look inside, look inside it, not, you know, I work with people, parents who are usually overwhelmed and they usually always have too much stuff. And that's what led me to this. Uh, to a degree to begin working with decluttering because there is a definite correlation. I don't know the causation always. That's the opportunity you have to go in and figure out what is causing it. Is the stuff causing me to be overwhelmed or is the overwhelm causing me to have too much stuff? In other words, am I overwhelmed in my head? With So am I amassing things around me that I can think about and focus on so I don't have to think about what's going on inside. So what we're getting to is what's going on inside because if we want better relationships with our kids, knowing why we do what we do, especially those things that we don't want to do in our lives, why we do those things is going to declutter the relationships of the, you have with your kids and everyone else in your life. So that's why we're doing this. So let's keep that in mind, okay? And not to be overwhelmed. If you don't want to get rid of stuff, then don't. But there's a correlation there somehow with overwhelm and too much stuff, okay? If you're working through and getting projects done, great, perfect. Most of us put everything on the back burner <laughs> and it stays on the back burner even in our own heads. So today we are going to get rid of household decorations that you no longer enjoy. So this is a true story. I went over to my sister's house who had a big, beautiful house and she was selling her house because her life, it was just her now, selling her house. And she wanted me to help her do some things to get the house ready. So one of the things she wanted me to do was go through her attic with her storage space. So my sister's a very organized person. So we're pulling out these Xerox box, paper boxes, all neatly labeled. Tons of them. I don't even know how many of them that had kitchen decorations. Kitchen decorations. I said, your kitchen's already decorated. It's beautiful. She said, oh, no, this was from the house we moved out of. 15, 10, 8, I don't even remember how many years ago. I said, why you have these decorations that you were keeping in this attic for all these years for a kitchen that you lo lo no longer have. Is that right? She's like, yeah, that's right. And she was laughing and we started laughing about it. And she said, you may have to pry them out of my hands because I'm not, I really loved these things at the time. So I said, I'm not, I don't pry anything out of anybody's hand, A. And B, I'm opening the boxes. If you want to keep these old shriveled apple wreaths and country straw scarecrow things that go on the wall from the 1980s, have at it. You can have them. Take them with you to your next house. I don't know. So we kind of, you know, started talking about that stuff and working through it. But the truth of the matter is she had been storing things that she didn't really enjoy anymore. She had a way different kitchen, a more beautiful kitchen, a, a better kitchen, if you will that she had been enjoying for years. And these old things were somehow hooked to something else emotionally in her past, and they were taking up a lot of space. So she ended up, to her credit, working through that and getting rid of all of it, which is what this is all about. So today, like for instance, I'm unpacking because I just moved. And if I, I have things that I love that, you know, I, I used in other places and I still like them, but I'm, I was finding myself trying to figure out where they fit now. And, and the truth of the matter is they don't fit. And so I'm going to get rid of that stuff and I'll get rid of it in creative ways because I have lots of grandkids and people I can send stuff to or I'll donate it. So I'm going to do that today. And in the and I hope that you'll join me if you have household decorations that you have stored up. They're not decorating anything but the inside of a dark 
box. If they could speak to you, they'd be saying, it's dark in here. Okay, <laughs> let them out. Let them go to someone who will love, you know, a shriveled apple wreath or whatever you have in there that doesn't belong in your current living space. And if it does belong in your current living space and you've been waiting to paint the wall or get the chair or whatever, ahead and do that okay go ahead and paint the wall go ahead and do what you need to do to get those things on the wall or how about this if you're not ready to paint go ahead and tack them on the wall where they're gonna go and you can paint later all right give yourself a deadline so all take a look around and say you know this thing that somebody gave me it's really cute and all but it's not me it's not me. It's not what I want. Does it give me joy? It doesn't make me happy. It just makes me feel like I need to find a space for it, which is weighty, right? Whereas those things that we love, it lightens us up. So today, and I'm speaking to myself as much as to you today, uh, let's go and clear your mind by clearing your space, okay? Good luck with that. Get rid of the stuff that you don't need anymore. Keep the stuff that you really love. T minus 29 here. We're rocking it. T minus 29. So just for today, decorations, okay? Don't drag that stuff out. Tomorrow we're going to be on to something else. I hope you're having a great day. I hope the sun's shining outside. If not, I hope it's shining inside. Love to you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. And post some pictures if you can. Bye for now.